Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Subnautica, shall we? Continuing our complete beginner's guide here, and you know, there's a point that I want to make, uh, there's a couple, getting some great tips from everybody, and I want to say thank you so much to Subnautica Pros for uh, creating some good beginner-friendly tips for people, and one of them is uh, you just don't need this many planters that I've got. It's too many. The, the, the amount of bulbul trees we have is fine. So I'm going to get rid of this one because it keeps getting in the way. So I'm going to go over to my um, tool here, and I'm just going to say deconstruct. I'm just going to hold the down button, and you'll see that we do get the titanium back. We don't get the plants back, but we get the titanium back, which is good enough, so I don't keep bumping into that, and I don't need that many. And I can just kick the titanium, you know, over here if I like. Now, another thing is uh, the warpers that I was talking about last episode, those guys cannot pull you out of the Cyclops or your base, but they can pull you out of the prawn suit or the uh, sea moth. So luckily we're safe in here, which is phenomenal. So let's go ahead and turn this baby on and let's go back and try to get the ingredients I was talking about before. So I'm going to just surface, and we're going to look for, let's see, no, not that, not yet. I'm going to go out. I'm going to drive this baby way, way out here. So that we have a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to go to the deep shroom blood oil section and see if we can find the last piece of the puzzle that we need for aerogel over here now we are not rigged for silent running we're on standard speed and you can see up here we're at 91 percent power we could also go to the proposed degassi habitat that's 500 meters deep uh, because the cyclops could or could get us close before it crushes and we stop at like 450 or whatever around about and then we just swim the rest of the way there if we were interested all right i'm gonna start lowering and i'm gonna just swing over here and change my camera and use the keel to look okay just noting the passage of the biomes here is red grass. Let's keep going through it. Okay. It's great. All right, fantastic. And this is pretty good right here. So I'm going to go down and just lower us. And hopefully we don't, you know, explode but uh, by hitting the walls. But we really won't. Uh, and then we're going to just kind of look around right here and explore for the items that we need at the moment. And I'm just going to leave my ship here. I'm going to turn off the engine. Keep the lights on, of course. And we can exit. We're 219 meters deep. So our Seamoth could actually go down here. But I am fine just, you know, swimming like this. Passing 100 meters. And seeing what we can get. So, you know, we might need a couple of these. And let's see here. Eh, yeah, quartz, I always like it. And let me shale. Yeah, diamond is good. Now we're super deep at this point. So just Keep your eye on your oxygen and remember where your Cyclops is living. All right. 
And just kind of going along the floor here, looking. And I'm going to go back uh, to our ship. Oxygen is getting suspect. Now we need to be further out this way. Let me get my flashlight out. Yeah. I don't want to get stuck in a cave. I need to be well inside this thing. Is where I need to be. Welcome aboard, Captain. And let's go ahead and just open the storage and we can, you know, drop in this diamond and this quartz. And we could even open this one and, you know, throw in these deep shrooms and feel pretty good about things. And let's go back out. get my light a little hard to see all right so i am just going to keep bam passing 200 meters i know i know 200 meters greatly decreased go around over here And we'll probably have to move the Cyclops as we continue to search. Oh boy. There's a good friend. Alright. Yeah, let's move. I'm not seeing anything close enough. Take that. And that. Ooh, Ruby. This is really greedy. Can we make it? Uh oh. That was a little too greedy right there. But no risk, no reward in Subnautica. All right, let's keep going. Power it up. Engine powering up. All right. So we don't need to go exactly where we were before. This is fine. Go up a little bit. And let's see here. I'm going to use the key. It's just too dark. Use this camera. And let's move. I'd like to get down further so I could see a bit better. That's where we thought the Ghost River might be. was over there. <laughs> Alright, I'm just kind of glancing around. And you need to kind of get closer down to the floor to find exactly what we're looking for here. Oh god. Creature attack is not good. Okay. So let's go this way. And all right, we're getting hit by an angry creature. All right, so I'm just going to go up and get out of here if possible. Uh, 
let's see. We might need to use a different camera depending on where we are. Well, we definitely need to use a different camera here. All right. Um, give me the, the conning tower. Okay, yeah. We got to go forward. Oop, down. Here we go. Okay. All right. Now, I actually don't even know what was hitting us. But it's not going to be something good. Let's move forward. And let's see where we are. Can we surface? Warning. External hull damage detected. Okay. Yeah, we've been hurt on the outside. So we're going to need to repair this. And let's get out. But let's get to an area where there's less likelihood of us getting wrecked, if possible. Here we go. Okay. And let me just move this way a bit. So sometimes this happens, which is that a creature comes and is angry and attacks the outside of our ship. So I'm going to get us a little bit closer into a shallower area. Like, this looks pretty good. All right, and let's just scope around and make sure there's no uh, big nasties that are still on us. No, these guys are here, so we're safe. So now we can exit. All right, now you can look at your power. Is, man, it's so good. The, the efficiency has helped us out so much. And look at the health right here. You see this top bar is our health. So we took about, you know, 15, 20%, and some of that might have been me scraping, but look at this. You see how it's flooding? So what we have to do to fix the flooding is get our repair tool out, okay? And then we have to actually get out, and they said external hull damage, right? So we need to go out and fix it from the exterior. And we just need to look for any of those um, marks on the outside. Here we go, like this that we've repaired before. And then bust out our repair tool and just fix it. Bam. And let's just see. You can just look on the outside. Are there any more? Yep, there's one up here. You can see the bubbles coming out. Okay. And then just take a look at it all the way around. Make sure there's no bubbles. It looks good. Sweet. Oh, look, there's that vent down there. All right, so now what I always like to do is just walk back through, make sure there's no water leaking in. It's kind of like a double check on uh, the hull integrity. And check our system here. And you see by doing that, we've restored our health to full. And look at this. Our trees are almost fully mature. Amazing. Okay, so at this point, in this biome. Hmm, let's go ahead and pilot. And let me switch cameras. And let's just go back. But I think it is worth saving it. We don't want to get unlucky and get lose our Cyclops. It's just um it's not the end of the world if you do that, but it's just tedious to replace it. All right, so we can go down a little bit. And it looks like there's a section of the Aurora over here. I am not sure if we, you know, took the time to fully explore this little piece. Let's see here. What do we got? No, we didn't because there's a treasure chest right there. So let's go ahead and get this. Why not? I'm going to go ahead and uh, power it down. And I'm going to get out, and let's explore this little wreck site. That's just fine. Okay. And first of all, what's over here? Anything we can scan for some free titanium? What you got? Thermal plank. Ooh, actually, this is great. Um, oh, boy. Okay, I know, I know, I know. 
you're angry. All right, so let's go ahead and get the thermal plant. Um, thermal plant would be amazing. We did it. Okay, cool. So if we can make the thermal plant, uh, we can power our base using the, you know, underwater fissures of geothermal energy. All right, let's go ahead and blast this. Heck yeah. What you got? Lead? Okay, fine. And let's see. We need one of these that we can get through. Oh, oh, look at what we found. Data box. Yes, this is what I've been looking for. Vehicle upgrade console. This is so good. All right. And can we laser cut this? Nah, nah. All right, all right, all right. Can we repair that? Not really. Let's just get these treasure chests. Water. Water. All right. So we got the repair, uh, the vehicle upgrade station, and we got the thermal plant from this. So this is another big part of what we want to be doing right now, which is just finding more uh, blueprints and technology for all of our stuff. All right. So what does that take? I'm going to go ahead and look into our uh, blueprint section and the uh, look at this. So you see how now all of these vehicle upgrades are available for us to build. So we can build um, the Seamoth solar charger, which is insane. Uh, we can build hull reinforcement uh, for the Seamoth of the prawn. We can... Um, upgrade our prawn suit a bunch, make it go deeper, um, you know, get, give it the jump upgrade, just inventory, all kinds of great stuff. So this is beautiful. If we want, let's see, where is this? This is, do, 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 do. Here's the thermal plant. It takes aerogel, so we do need, you know, the gel anyway to get there. And let's see, here it is, vehicle console upgrade. So we want to build this in the moon pool. This is the, the room that, because I haven't played Subnautica in a while. I thought this just came with our moon pool. I forgot that this was an extra add-on. I was looking for it when we first built it. This goes in the moon pool and allows any vehicle docked in the moon pool to be upgraded. So we're really, really excited about the possibility of getting to do that eventually. And let's go up. We did get that bottle of water, so we don't have to have it, but... Let's see if our plants are ready to go, and they are. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut one, two, three, four, and eat one, two, three, four, and everything is going. Perfect. And we're full, just like that. All right. Full on food, full on water, all here. Okay. Well, that's worth saving it. So that's great. And let's get back in. And we need to go a little bit deeper if we're going to find this gel. But just doing sweeps around the starter area, progressively going deeper and deeper is the way for us to find technologies and blueprints like that, as well as other items that we need. Uh, that being said, there are animals that will attack us. Uh, Leviathans, big fish that will you know, not be pleased that we're in here. And we have to be mindful of that, which is why I saved it. We did get attacked a bit, but it didn't do that much damage. We were able to escape. Usually, if you just disengage, you're okay, but it's not always the case. All right, what do we got? Uh-huh. Geothermal. Um, yeah, okay, see that right in front of us? That is a big boy that is angry. So we're going to go the other way. So that is a Leviathan, and there's one actually just moving right there in front of us. It's hard to see because of the keel cam, uh, but it's mad. And so what we want to do is just go up. 
Hey, buddy. Angry. Thing is huge. All right, let's get out of here. So this is an area that's being haunted by a Leviathan. So we just say, all right, enormous dude. We're terrified. You've done your job of adequately, you know, scaring us. Let's just leave and try to get out of here. All right, so I'm going to kind of head back in this direction. And let's see. I'm going to sweep this camera around. Make sure that... Oh, no, he's still he's still back there. Okay. So it's probably in our best interest to just keep going. Now I'm going to actually get out of this. And let's just check our health. You see, even, even though that guy is there, he's he's upset and he's hitting us. He's not hitting us that hard. And if we wanted to, we could like go in flank. Emergency speed. Morning. Vessel counterfeit. Excessive noise. This we could do this and we'd make a lot of noise by doing this and like upset that guy, but it would we can just go faster than it. Morning. Sort of. Overheat. Okay, yeah, it's going to overheat, so. Ahead standard. All right. Let's go ahead standard. All right. And let's see. At this point, I'm going to sweep us this way, okay? And I'm going to check our cameras. I don't hear it. Oh, boy. But I see it. Angry. All right, fine. Swim with us, buddy. All right. We could also, if we want, rig for silent running. just... To rig for silent running and try to get away and not make as much noise. They're more territorial. It's not like they're outwardly, you know, going to, they're going to pursue you forever. You just don't want to leave your Seamoth around by them and you don't want to hang around. Just make an effort to get away from the big one and eventually I'm hoping we'll get away from it and if we get into shallower areas like this too that it should you know oh don't exit let's see are you still there mm -hmm. all right looks like we're in the proverbial clear now let me just kind of do a sweep. Well, wasn't that fun? We have had some run-ins with some nasties. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the engine. But look at our power. You see how it didn't do that much damage. Now, we are still rigged for silent running. I got to turn that off. That's why the red lights are on. Let me get that off. I don't want to waste any more power. But we are taking on water. So let's go. And let's go out and fix this. Four Cyclops. All right. Mm -hmm. Fix it up. Yeah. All right. And look for some air bubbles, anything like that. Anything on the top. Looks good over here. That looks good. Anything over here? That looks good. Let me just check one more time from below. I mean, it looks reasonable. Let's see. How are we doing in here? We leaking? All right. We did it. And you can always just look at this to get the full report. And we're good. I love to see that. Okay. So now, let's think about which way we want to go. You know what? I'm just going to go, I'm going to turn back the engine. Engine powering up. 
No, I don't want to sound the horn. I'm going to go this way. And I'm actually going to take us over here. Let's see if we can find anything reasonable over here. I'm going to go ahead and get here. Now, sometimes you'll get these graphical glitches. Like, it's telling me, do you want to sound the horn? And I'm like, no, I have no desire to do that. But it's just, you know, stuck on that for whatever reason. Ah, do do. Now, the area with the gel, I want to go there, but that big fish has told me that he wants to be in that area for a bit, so let's just kind of check out some other stuff and take the hint and explore elsewhere. It's not That's not the only place that we can go to get that. Um, that's just scrap metal. And... Let's go down here. Excelente. And you see these things on the rock. Remember, these are what's making that guy float. And let's see. Let me kind of get us... Let's point over here and see how far down we can go. Uh-huh. Beautiful. Now we're going down fairly deep here. Let's see. How deep am I? Yeah, 214 meters. I mean, that's not bad. I'm just going to keep with this camera. And see exactly where we are. Notice how we're not really finding the ocean floor too easily. Okay, there's a big guy. We're going down, down. So what they're telling us is that these landmasses suggest floating. And this is something that we want to keep in our mind. Because it will be important for us as we explore further. Alright. I don't want to spoil anything until it happens, but... Okay, let's keep going down. And oh boy, look at that death vents okay uh-huh oh is that the goods no that's uh uranite isn't it that's just a big chunk of metal all right, so there's big chunks of metal which we can't farm until we have the prawn suit, sadly. But this is worth exploring, and this is actually worth um, potentially dropping a beacon. How deep? Yeah, we're really, really deep right now. Um, profoundly deep. But I am going to uh, just quickly throw a beacon outside here. And this is just going to be called... I'm just going to remember this as... Floating? And I'm going to put a question mark. Just like, what does this mean, floating? What was what happened over here? Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay, and just say, okay. 
And I'm going to get back in. Thanks. All right. So now we've marked this area a bit. And let's just see. I'm going to go ahead and get back to the keel cam. And... General. Now the game will tell you if you're starting to go like, you know, outrageously deep. And it's a bad idea. There it is. So here's the proposed Degassi habitat that's 500 meters. So let's head over here anyway. I was thinking about doing this. Once we had the Cyclops. Um, and the Leviathan has kind of like caused me to consider, let's just go over here. Now this steering is actually too hard with the kill cam, so I need to switch to a different camera. Uh, I don't... The conning tower is pointed the wrong direction. Let me just sweep this around. And yeah, we want to go this way. Okay, no problem. It is... there. But how do we get around this? We need to go shallow. I think. Unless this will finally let us turn the corner here. That doesn't look like it. I'm going to go ahead and just... Oh, we're hitting the wall. Let's just go up. Okay, good. And, yep, there's some more metal. Let's go over this way. Oh, boy. All right, we've got to go way up. Okay. And let's see. Where is that thing? This way. Now, see this? This is what we're talking about. All right. Let's see about these floating segments. And there's some caves here. Interesting stuff. And I'm just going to keep going up. Up. Uh, okay, we got to avoid this. That's disturbing. All right, here we go. Up, up, up. And let's go up. And we made it. And we are like way above the surface of the water. That's hilarious. Okay. So there it is. Um, this way. And let me just look around really quickly. Okay. All right. Let's see. That's about right. So notice that dark cloud right there. Ooh, there's like a solar eclipse going on or something. Or was that just a sunset? Hey, look at that. Anyway, you see this cloud? This is worth observing. Pay attention to this cloud. Because something we could do is simply surface our boat our cyclops and let's just turn around until when I come out I am noticing that cloud and there it is See this dark cloud on the horizon? This is worth exploring. Let's just head towards this. It's just hovering right here. Let's 
going to keep going this way. And let's see here. I'm going to switch to the conning tower. A little easier. Oh, wait a minute. What's that? You see this? What's this? Wait a minute. Where did that come from? Look at this. There is an entire island. It is right here. Is this our island? From before? It's got our bulb load trees. Let's look at this. Yes. So, if you want to get back to the island, you can look for that dark cloud. And the dark cloud serves to kind of like obscure the location of the island itself. Now, it's easy if you just turn on the beacons for the Degasi habitats that I have turned off. You would just be able to get back here. And we've already been here. But it's interesting to point out in terms of the story of the game and what's going on, the fact that this island has been somehow, you know, made invisible. And it only appears when you're right on top of it. All right. So now we can go to this habitat, this direction. And watch, you know, I'm going to keep going this way. I'm going to drive. The camera is pointed the other way, but the ship is heading away from this. Just keep watching the island. And... Eventually, as we get away from it, even though we have it in view, it sort of just will disappear and hide behind these clouds until you can just about not see it at all. You can still see uh, the aurora pops in and out uh, with the draw distance, but... You can't see that island anymore because it is mysteriously cloaked. Trust me, the aurora is there. It's not cloaked. Okay. And let's head ourselves in the right direction. And so we have a bunch of objectives, which you always do. In Subnautica. We still want to make Aerogel. So that's going to require us to find the gel sacks. But we need to make sure that we're not upsetting any of the bigger fish. So that we can do it without losing our Cyclops. And we're sweeping around looking for more blueprints and technologies for us. So that's part of our plan. We're still trying to find a mystery. This is where we built the Cyclops, right there. And there are beacons that will continue to emerge as we reach certain kind of checkpoints within the game. And let's see here. I'm on top of this, so I'm just going to keep heading toward this. But we will notice, you know, eventually... This beacon will start to go under our ship as we get closer and closer, and let's start to sink. And I'm going to switch us to our other camera at the keel, and let's start to sink. Okay, well, maybe that was a bit too presumptuous. By the way, I'm going to show you something really fast. Look at our hull. It's 100%. When I was piloting my own Cyclops, I would always be so afraid when I would bump into the wall, scrape the wall, blast into it. That is not hurting you. So don't worry, you know, 
it's hard to drive this thing. Don't worry about ramming it into the environment in that way. What we should instead be worried about uh, are leviathans and animals attacking us. All right, so now you can see we're kind of like, let me change the camera. We're coming out of red grass again, and we're going deeper. And now we're getting much, much closer. And let's see here. Okay, looking good. So the habitat's under us. I'm just going to pull us... Yeah, here we go. See these cracks? It is about 374 meters. Let me see, what, what depth am I at? Oh, I'm not that deep. Okay, we can keep going. But um, the difficulty becomes maneuvering the ship. Now, also... As you can see, there is some Aurora wreckage right here. So this is actually worth investigating. Let's go ahead and... Um, oops, let me get back on so I can turn the engine off. Engine Save our battery. Alright, sounding the horn was a terrible idea. I did not mean to do that. Generally, don't do that. Don't sound the horn like I just did. It, it attracts things. Okay, so let's see. What did we find here? Let's get our scanner out. What do we got? What do we got? We've got thermal plant. Okay, we already have this one. Anything else here? Interesting. Salt. All right, well, not bad. And we can actually go inside here. What you got? Okay, they got a treasure. Water. And what's this? Ooh, power cell charger fragment. Yes, this is what we're talking about. This would be huge. Okay, we need one more. Let's see. Is there one other one in here? Keep, just keep an eye on our oxygen. But we want that power cell, the second power cell fragment. Okay, we need to laser cut through here. Okay, no problem. Let me go into my inventory. Do I have the laser cutter on me? Let me just um, assign a quick slot. I'll put it instead of the uh, habitat builder. Uh, here laser cutter yes okay and then i'll start the laser cutting process but we're going to need to go back to get oxygen this will allow us to recharge our power cells so that we, so that we can um have our cyclops running much more which is just so amazing and again this is the loop of the game you're exploring you might want to do one thing but as long as you keep just exploring um and not worried that your plans are getting spoiled by you know um, interesting wildlife you can just make the best of it and get other key components instead alright let's go ahead and come here now it's saying you know we need to seek fluid intake well guess what we know about fluid intake I'm going to put my fluids away right here actually uh, all of this water I picked up great you know all of these items that I don't need. Perfect. And this will make us more inventory space for this. Now this one will break. And we just want to replant it before we eat. And I'll just go ahead and then go here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Vital signs. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Fantastic. And this is Cyclops Life. Now, if we get that power cell fragment, and we can get that baby going at our base so that we can now not have to craft a power cell every time, it'll be such a lifesaver to recharge that. And what's this right here? Thermal plant? Okay, fine. Fine. Be the thermal plant. We know, anyway, that where we're going to have to go, it's in here, and we're going to have to finish the job that we started. That's okay. What do we got in here?
Oh, data box. What's in this? Reinforced dive suit. Yes. And here it is. Power cell charger fragment. Got it. Oh, man. How awesome. And here's another power cell charge fragment, just in case we didn't have it. Get this. Let's keep an eye on our oxygen. We don't have much time left. Oh, oh, light stick fragment. Get that. Got it. And are there any upgrades in here? Oh, for a second, I was like, oh, boy. Did we just find something? I can't be too greedy. Okay, let's get out. And let's turn around and get to our Cyclops. Low on oxygen, but holy smokes, that was awesome. Wow. We really have seen the gamut. So we set out with one objective, and we still need the gel for the arrow gel. But what did we end up doing instead? Instead, we managed to get... Let's show you the, the blueprints that we just got. So now we can actually craft a power cell charger. We can get thermal power online for our base if we want to have even more electricity. And that's better if we want to build a second or third base, for example. We got the vehicle upgrade console for installation in our moon pool. And uh, here's the power cell charger right here, by the way, which we can just build. It just needs an advanced wiring kit, two rubies and titanium. We don't even need um, aerogel for that. So we're in great position there. And let's just move up to another item that we can craft for ourselves, which is boop, 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 boop. the reinforced dive suit. So we do need synthetic fibers for this. Um, and that is going to be. Uh, another element that we have to get, but this has been a terrific exploration episode. We still have more to go. We still want to get to the Degasi habitat. Uh, we still might find more stuff, and there's tons more to discover. And I'm excited to do so. I hope you're still finding this series to be fun and helpful. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. The other thing, oh my gosh, how could I forget? We got attacked not once but twice by a Leviathan that followed us and had to repair our cyclops so that it didn't uh get destroyed by hull damage so we had some excitement in there as well all in the day's work take care everybody